everyone, I'm here with Dr. Ace and we're here to continue on with our summer immunity series. Thanks so much for joining me. You're helping me so much and hopefully helping a lot of people out there. I hope so. Yeah. Dr. Ace is a board certified family doctor. He also specializes in anti-aging and integrative medicine. Uh, one thing I want to talk today about is um, processed foods. Of course, we all know that processed foods are not good for you. Um, buying a box of crackers or hot Cheetos or whatever, we all know that it's not good for you. Um, but one time I met with you, Dr. Ace, and you, you brought up um, a kind of a different direction of processed foods, of making it at home or making it yourself. Um, so maybe talk about a couple of you know, different directions on processed foods, whatever you think. Okay. So we're talking about summer immunity and we're looking at, the, looking at our immunity from the perspective of processed food. So we need to think about what immunity means. Immunity is immune cells, which are memory cells, and they're made in the body, right? They're made inside our body, in our bone marrow, in our lymphoid, lymphatic system. They are differentiated as well inside our bloodstreams. There's a lot of things that go on, but they're made from something. They're made from ingredients. They're made from mm -hmm. different proteins, different enzymes, different cofactors. When we are looking at these vitamins and minerals, you can think of from a, uh, a apple. If you cut an apple and leave it to air, it will change color. The texture on the apple will change color. Why is it doing that? Because when the vitamins that are inside the nutrient that is in nutrients that are inside the apple they're covered by the apple shell or apple skin but when you open it now they're exposed to air so vitamins minerals um minerals less but most of the vitamins and other phytonutrients that are inside our food that is natural as soon as it gets exposed to air it changes and you can see that visibly on an apple as soon as you convert it, you add heat to it. So air changes it, heat changes it. Mm -hmm. So air, heat. The third thing that changes our food is light. Mm -hmm. And we have all seen how light can really ruin some of our foods because it has to stay in a colder environment, it has to be in a dark environment. If you add light and it can be hot light, cold light, laser light, Wi-Fi, you know, electromagnetic mm -hmm. light, it changes our food and we know that because we see it every single day you know the plants don't grow next to your electric meter kind of a deal you know because there's a lot of electromagnetic noise that's coming out of there so when we're looking at processed food now you're taking this apple and processing it into something else such as like apple juice well there has been heat added to it light added to it because it just sits on the shelves and it has been changed through temperature as well because mm -hmm. now it's completely processed the air changes it as well so now you have taken that little apple converted into something else and processed it and it has lost some of its nutrients now you need those nutrients to make your immune cells without those nutrients you won't be able to make them or your body will struggle and in order to fight this you know times that we're mm -hmm. you know we want to fight pretty much all these things and protect ourselves and have good immunity which also means good memory and obviously memory is neuro issues you know if you want to just improve your memory do mm -hmm. good in school you need good immunity otherwise it's kind of hard to remember all the plays and all the calls and all the <laughs> game plays and everything you know so it's it's quite important to make your own food because when you make that apple juice in home right in front of you you did not allow it to get exposed to that air, temperature, light changes mm -hmm. that somebody else did it in, in some factory. So when we make your own food, it can be processed. You have to change sometimes to eat things, right? You can't have lentils by themselves. You have to, have to process it. But when you start processing it and when it's done right away within the first 48 minutes, it's fresh, it doesn't lose its nutrient quality, it doesn't lose, it, lose its energy. It preserves what the actual integrity and the quality of that particular food or plant or 
or whatever that you're cooking is. Otherwise, the integrity changes. Right? That's really good. I mean, just taking it the angle of just a simple apple and changing it into apple juice, and you can see how the quality is going down real yeah, fast. Especially yep. when it's in a factory and it's it's going down real fast, and it has to get shipped, and it has to get bottled, and it has to. Yeah. There's just so much that goes into it. And that's not even talking about all the other, because a lot of times you think of an apple juice, you wouldn't think that it's processed, but it is, it is <laughs> you know, it is, it is processed <laughs> and, and simple is better. You know what I mean? Like you're at home and you make your own apple juice and then you drink your apple juice right away. And like it tastes different. Yeah. And it, it, totally it tastes, tastes different. different. Yeah. Like if you ever had orange juice, you fresh squeeze orange juice and once you squeeze your own orange juice, you can't go back to the store bought orange juice. It's disgusting yeah, yeah. <laughs> because of that, like the yeah, process, like you're exactly. saying, it changes it. So that's really good. And the interesting thing is that try, you can try it at home. You can squeeze your orange juice mm -hmm. and not drink it for two days. Yeah, it's disgusting. It becomes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's bad. It becomes Almost bad. like 24 hours, like it's palatable, but you're like, ah, it's not the same. And then you have to add preservatives and yeah. things to make it... Right tastes better right so but that's the, that's the concept of you know yeah. making your own food at home so mm -hmm. that it's less processed yeah process is process right whenever you change something you're processing it but you have to process you know grains yeah, and course. things to, but when you like you say know. you like you make it at home and you're creating a dish for your family and you had said it's put together with love oh yeah you know like yeah, yeah. that so talk about so that that's a, that's another concept <laughs> from the perspective of um what you know, from the perspective of how food and how plants respond to your love and energy, mm -hmm. if you say I love you to a plant, it will grow much better and bigger. And, you know, concept of putting your energy into the food before you eat it. Mm -hmm. Well, when you process, when you buy something processed, it's made in some factory. It has, you know, energy that could be would not be the the right positive energy because you don't know who's touching it and how you how it, it's coming to your plate. Yeah, it's but, more so like dollar signs behind it. Yeah, it's you the know, greed. It's, like, yeah, it's, it's like, the greed that we're in. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> She's absolutely right. <laughs> it's the dollar sign. Yeah, right? yeah. And um, you know, Dr. Emoto talked about how water changes structure when you use different words when you put intentions into it and same thing with food food has water in it and it will change based on what intentions you put in mm -hmm. okay. so putting in putting right intentions into the food if you want to remember some basketball game play and you keep forgetting that well think about that right before eating and put that in your food that food becomes you and you have memory and if you want to remember that why don't we start out there instead of trying to remember something here right because food is becoming your brain that little thing is literally it's like imagine that being the chip right it's like a flash drive mm -hmm. the plate in front of you is like the flash drive mm -hmm. when you insert this flash drive in your body it becomes knowledge or it yeah. becomes something in mm -hmm. your body right so it's holding on to these it, 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 it gets converted into immune cells and memory cells and whatnot so it's literally converting a flash drive into you. But we always think about writing the flash drive in here. Mm -hmm. But the flash drive is right in front of you when you're eating it. That's so whatever really whatever information you put in it, mm -hmm. it goes in you. Yeah. So love is that information. Mm -hmm. Hatred is that information. You know, jealousy, greed, mm -hmm. all of these things that we talk about mm -hmm. is the information that we're putting into our food when we think about those things. So mm -hmm. when we're watching TV while eating, and if you're watching a cartoon or if you're watching mm -hmm. a soap opera, it has all the emotion that you don't want in your food. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think about that. And that's what's cool about you. Like you, you think like, you're like, these are all connected. It's you connected. know what I'm saying? Like there's so much that's connected in our lives that we we don't realize yeah. how much is connected. And look how much we're connecting just from process. Yeah. And we haven't even talked about hot Cheetos yet. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's the plant energies are just interesting. Yeah, this is just yeah. simple things. Simple things, There's yeah. simple things to be mindful of when you are eating. Yeah. And what, don't have your mind distracted, eating. right? Mm -hmm. Like, don't keep your mind distracted somewhere else mm -hmm. when you're eating your food because your food is your memory chip. That's your flash drive. Mm -hmm. 
if your mind is somewhere else you're creating those vibrations your thoughts those thoughts are going in that food and then you're putting that right into mm -hmm. you so you're literally putting in all this negative energy that's somewhere else mm -hmm. and by no means i'm perfect mm -hmm. i i listen to a lot of youtube i'm not I, either i'm not perfect when I, when I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh it's something that you think he's about. not i'm not either <laughs> no. it's something that we all think about and yes. we all and, and it's a journey just, you have to journey, yeah. continue to try to learn and get better at um everything you can mm -hmm. see you know but i like the concept of um what you're eating and then goes in plays a role for you personally but you touch um, touch a little bit on seriously processed foods like what could what could that you know what I mean yeah. so a lot of a lot of these things have you have to look at look at these things as a business if you're running a business the only thing that matters is a bottom line you know how much you're expending and how much you're saving so if you're making something and it has to go out in public and you're able to get something done at cheaper cost you're going to make that decision mm -hmm. because that's your livelihood, right? Like you are working for your own business. So this is how all this, you know, things started back in 1800s when 1700s right. when industri industrialization happened, mm -hmm. where we wanted cheaper and cheaper and cheaper products, but bigger and bigger and bigger profits. Right. So in, in that realm, we, we are we are valuing our families you know we're making something because it helps our family and our business mm -hmm. and our livelihood but it also forgets the aspect of what going out to other people and when we start putting in preservatives pesticides herbicides you know just chemicals jump, to just make chemicals, it taste good yeah, yeah. just to make it preservative taste good. long shelf life yeah yeah and all of that has to come down to the value system right mm -hmm. you're listening to this you're going to become one day owner of some company and you're going to run you know different organizations so it comes down to the value system what you're producing does it have long lasting effect in the positive world because mm -hmm. if you're producing something that has a negative effect that's going out you know it's the boomerang effect right yeah, what I goes totally out agree. comes back yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> it always faster comes than back you think. Yeah. comes back faster yeah. than you think yeah. i totally agree and in my before i went plant-based I was in my late teens, early 20s, and my health was struggling mm -hmm. because I did not eat, because I ate processed fast food. And already at that time in my life, I was already struggling. Mm -hmm. I was like migraines and constant sore throats and tonsils mm -hmm. out. And oh, it was bad. And I just thought that's bad luck. I didn't realize that yeah. it was just, it was awful eating, you yeah. know, taking care of myself. So. It's, um, yeah, it's, it's interesting because the tonsillitis or tonsil issues or any of these things they're mm -hmm. all immune related issues because if your body doesn't your immune cell has a job mm -hmm. your immune system has a job it needs to protect you from other foreign things that are not you mm -hmm. so when we mm -hmm. put in when we put in things that is not us or that is not that cannot become us mm -hmm. for example when you eat plants, it becomes you. When we add pesticides, well, there's no way the pesticide can become us. Mm -hmm. Like it just, there's just no way. It just sits in the cartilage and tendons. Right, your body's then, like, what? Let me store it over here yeah. and get it so it doesn't hurt something. Exactly. Right? Let me store exactly. it over here. Yeah. yeah. And um, that's something that we have to consciously think that what you're putting in is our choice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's good. So thank you very much. That was good. I appreciate it. Yeah, no worries. No worries.